<sighs> what's good youtube it's your boy bugs back second video today market talk tuesday before we get into it drop 10k in the comments like the vid sub if you're new let's get this one to 75 likes market talk tuesday has been unbelievable um this is our second video today we'll be streaming later again once again another reminder your boy bugs 16 on twitch uh Man, the support has been unreal. We're really we're gonna hit a K this week. I believe in my supporters. Tell your friends, let's get this man to a K. Let's do it. Um, so uh let's think about it. So market talk Tuesday. We just talk about what's gonna go down pretty much Friday, what the auction is looking like, what you should do with your stubs, uh, how to make stubs, pretty much everything combined in one video. This is episode five or six. I think it's six, I'm not totally sure. But yeah, guys, usually do Aftermath of the Mark Crash on Monday. But since YouTube crapped itself uh, on Sunday, I had to make two videos today. So yeah, let's get into it, man. Market Talk Tuesday. So what I'm going to recommend you do, we're going to talk about the fourth inning program to start it off. Okay, so the fourth inning program is dropping the 14th in about two weeks from now. So what I recommend you guys to do is don't buy these cards yet. I give it another week to buy the cards and start getting ready for the fourth inning collection. Especially since player of the months are dropping on Friday. And I'm going to get into that. And I'm also going to have a, pl uh, a player of the month prediction on Friday. So wait on these cards. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. Now, I would say about today, Wednesday, or Thursday. You want to try to get rid of your diamonds keep it safe you want to just make sure you try to get rid of your diamonds all your investments that you made on friday of the market crash like i did so what i'm doing is i'm going to sell most of my cards probably today tomorrow or the next day before the market crash happens to make max stubs get ready for friday okay no no, no. I, I i'm sorry friday is not going to be like a market crash as per usual it's going to be a different type of market like thing okay so what's going to happen is with the market, it's the diamonds like usually either stay the same, go up, some go down. So pretty much what I'm saying is that on Friday, the diamonds are unpredictable. The only thing I could predict is that the golds, the bronzes, the silvers, they all drop in value as per usual. They drop in value a little bit, not a lot. So you could invest safely. It's a good time to invest on Friday as usual, just not diamonds, golds, bronzes, silvers. Keep it that way. That's going to be the best time to invest. Okay. So now what else happens? How to make stubs on Friday. We're going to talk about this. So player of the month drop. What happens is they drop those limited time packs. Mad people spam them. So let's say this. Let's say you pop the pack. Let's just say Raphael Devers gets a diamond card, which I think he will. He's a top player this month. So Raphael Devers gets a diamond card, right? He's like an 86 overall, let's just say. Let's say he's an 86 overall. So Devers is going for around 30k while the packs are out, right? So 30k for when the packs come out. When the packs are gone, he goes up at least, I would say at least minimum 10k, 20k. And I'm gonna give you, I, I'm gonna just show you that I have proof of this. So first of all, we're just gonna go to Kirby Yates. Uh, what is it? An 86, 87. Okay. Look at those. Look at that price. This car when it dropped was at it was 50k. Look at his price right now. Since there's no, once the packs go out of the game, you can't get the card any other way. It's out of the game completely. It's gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. So what you want to do is you want to try to pick up. You need to pick up. Like I will be picking up probably 400k worth of diamonds of the player of the months before the packs drop, before the packs go away. So that's what I'm doing. You don't have to listen to me. But yeah, I'm also going to give you, I'm going to just show you all the player of the month cards, bro. Every, even the gold cards went up. Because you can't pull them in packs anymore. So I'm just going to show you. Ready? We go sets. No, it's uh, Where is it? Is there a player in the month? Monthly awards. Okay. So here it is. So Tim Anderson was 30K. Okay. Why do I remember this? Because I pulled him and I put it on my Twitter. I pulled it. Put it. I, left. I pulled him for 30. He was 30K when I pulled him. The pack was 20K. I would have made 10K stubs, but I'm like, yo, you know what? I have mad stubs. I'm going to wait. I don't trust his price staying here. I feel like it would go up because it's limited time packs. What happened? It went up a ton. I made, I sold it for 70K when I waited one day. I waited one day and I made an extra 40K stub. So just think about that for one second. 40K stubs for waiting a day. Also, Tyler Glasnow. Whoops. Tyler Glasnow on the raise. He 
was literally 40k look at his price 208k would i recommend you guys to do any of the player month sets no it's not worth it in my opinion you get nothing out of it you get a like bellinger 95 dude you can literally go get ricky henderson for what 30 times cheaper like it's a no-brainer i just don't recommend the player of the month collection and you can make stubs off this set so easily without instead of the market crash friday it's literally just invest in freaking player of the month cards it's that simple i just highly highly recommend you do it i'm gonna make a ton of stubs i'll have a video on it it's gonna be aftermath of the player month investments that's gonna be my video it's gonna be crazy i'll probably make over 100k stubs minimum but yeah guys that's what i'm gonna do and we're gonna have a um what's it called we're gonna have a roster update no 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 we're gonna have a player of the month predictions wednesday which is tomorrow uh we're just gonna have one video tomorrow and we're gonna stream it's gonna be player of the month predictions i have devers i'm just gonna sh tell you two players i know are gonna be in it i'm saying bell josh bell probably gonna be the 95 or the 96 whatever they give him he has to be a top player he's gonna be in the collection no matter what uh and i think devers devers went off this month literally off like he, i have in fantasy he literally dropped a minimum of eight points every week with a dinger or a double so yeah those are my two tops this month one sleeper and like those have to be in the collection in my opinion if they're not in the collection there's problems so let's just keep talking about the auction so what is going down friday so the player to must drop the diamonds they the diamonds could go up down or stay the same i don't trust the diamonds if you see diamonds go down invest gold silvers bronzes they usually go down they don't go down that much but they go down and it's for a fact because i remember it that was the day when i said the market was going to crash and it didn't crash as much it crashed a little bit and i was freaking out because i was like yo what's going on like how did it not crash so i learned from it and i'm just going to tell you what's going to go down and that is literally what i'm saying is what's going to go down so as you can see right now market talk tuesday so everybody's price is kind of high i would say towards its peak um like i said you should sell your cards your diamonds i would say now like i would just keep it safe and always sell your diamonds before friday i do it every week and i make a ton of stubs i just recommend doing it um literally like if you have yellich just sell them i just don't think that like keeping on holding on to your diamonds could be very risky and i really really think you guys should just listen to me and just sell your diamonds if you don't want to it's like it's up to you man i'm going to i'm gonna keep it safe and sell my diamonds and uh yeah so like i'm gonna recap make sure you buy as many diamonds if you have lower stubs i'm gonna just say uh we're gonna go to not monthly awards what is it tops now okay i have examples of this so what happened was so when these tops dropped and then they were out of packs i got where, where is he where's the caleb caleb whatever where is he not in this one caleb is he a different all right so caleb's i guess a different one so caleb smith i'm gonna give you a perfect example caleb smith okay he's at 11k this card right here, this monthly card, when he was dropped, he was 3,000 stubs. He went up the next day to 8K stubs, 9K stubs. Then people started to notice and he dropped a ton. But now he's back up because there's no way you could get him. So literally, if you get a bunch of these gold cards, for kids that only have like 100K stubs, 50K stubs, 20K stubs, to make stubs is just simply buy the May uh gold cards like you could make more subs off that like so let's say they're 3k they go up to 8k you buy 10 of them for 3k and you make 5k of each um that's a ton of stubs you only spend 30k and you'll make what 50k so think about that that is insane you'll double your stubs that easily and honestly guys that's all i really got for you i'm just giving you a heads up of what's gonna go down friday i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the content stay tuned for the stream the second video today is done. Thank you guys for coming out. Let's get a K this week. We're closing it on a thousand. I hope you guys enjoy. Drop the like, drop the sub, 10K in the comments, 1K in the comments, whatever you want. And that's all I got. Stay tuned for the stream. Peace. Hey, yo,